Before this video starts, if this guide helps you out in any way, shape, or form, like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you could go ahead and play Roblox Studio inside a school Chromebook. Unblocked. I'm not joking. Fully unblocked. Let me show you how. First, guys, you're going to go over and open your Chromebook, as you can see right here. And once you guys go ahead and do that, you're going to go ahead and click on Chrome. As you can see right here. And once you guys go ahead and click on Chrome thereof, you're going to go over to search thereof. And then you're going to go ahead and type up and listen to this very carefully, guys. Do this very careful. Type up proxy browser just like this and you're gonna search as you can see right here but if you guys don't have it blocked then you don't need to do it for a proxy browser but if you have uh now gg for example blocked then you guys need to use a proxy browser and then type now gg in the proxy browser and click browse to access now gg but guys, if you don't have now GG blocked, then you don't need to do this step. And you could do it on your normal browser. So we could go to now GG. Okay, guys. So once we go to now GG, it's very simple from here to go ahead and play Roblox Studio and to make games on Roblox without, you know, on a normal laptop in a school Chromebook. Okay. This is how you guys do it. Click search games. Then you want to go ahead and type up Roblox. Okay. And then click on Roblox once you search games. There we go. And from here, guys, click play in browser. Okay. Click play in browser. Now. We want to do is go ahead and wait for this to load it's going to take a second or two okay so give it a second or two to load usually it takes around 10 20 seconds so it's not going to take that long and the reason it takes some time is because guys we're obviously not downloading roblox or roblox studio since we're on a Chromebook. So what we're doing is we're connecting to a proxy for now GG to play Roblox. That's how it works, guys. So now GG already has it downloaded. They just allow you to go ahead and connect to now GG and play Roblox through their proxies. So it's pretty cool. So now, guys, you're gonna go ahead and make an account. If you don't have one, I already made a Roblox account, so I'm on this right now. This is uh, a Roblox account I made. For now gg just to play a bit you know what i'm saying i was testing it but you guys could obviously go ahead and make your own roblox account as well so now we need to do is click on search now that you guys have loaded in click on search and now type up studio light Click search. Now, guys, click on this right here. Then join. Okay. Wait for it to launch. Click close. Okay, and once, once you guys have launched it, we can now start using Roblox Studio inside our Chromebook. So we could click on uh, Toolbox right here. And I know you guys are probably like, what? This is so cool. But trust me, guys, I haven't even shown you guys like the coolest parts yet. I've only showed you guys like a little bit of it. I haven't showed you the whole thing. So let me show you guys how you could go ahead and go to Toolbox. 
And as you can see right here, we could place things like a door. <clears throat> so we could place a door right here. Now let me show you guys how to use all the functions and stuff. So let's place a door. So I just placed the door, guys. And now you could go to a, a scale. Okay. There's, yes, there's a scale button. So if we go over to scale. It's a bit lagging right now. I don't know why. Okay. If you guys now go over to scale. Now we could go ahead and, for example, uh, change the size of the door. So we could make it bigger. We can make it huge. We can make it small. I mean, you guys go ahead and decide, you know, what size you guys want to go ahead and make the door. You know, let's see if we could get it even bigger. Nope. So it's not letting me. But yeah, we could also move around. Obviously, you don't have to stay stuck in one direction. Okay. But there we go. So yeah, we can make it bigger. Okay, so we could, you know, make a big door, and now if we click play, for example, that's another function, which there's also a rotate function, which lets you to rotate what you place, so if we click play, okay, now we could go ahead and find the door that we've placed. And look at this door, guys. Look how big this door is, okay? So if we go here. Whoa, that is crazy, dude. It looks like a giant's house. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just look at it. Dude. It looks insane, okay? So let's see if the door even works. Since we scaled it. Yep, and it works. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a cool function. So we could build like a little giant map. And we could be this mini mouse running around the screen. Which would be pretty cool. Okay. So let me click stop. And we could go back onto the toolbox. We could place windows, we could place teleportation, tables, chairs, you guys name it, we could place it here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Peace.